Servus YouTube, Chef here, back with yet another update on the tower build, it just keeps getting stronger and stronger. Squeeze out even more damage, going up to insane numbers like 9k crits. With powerful affixes from the Sarasol update like damage gained per unspent reach and damage added from last spell cast. We also did some changes to the passive tree, going for more crit multiplier because of the increased flat numbers that we have. Crit multi is insanely strong. Also had a closer look on Merciless Lethality. This note is extremely strong because the minus damage is additive, which means it just takes 30% from our base damage and subtracts that from our total damage, which then is affected by our crit multi, so it outweighs the negative by a ton. Skills are now all focused on adding even more flat damage on top of our turrets with Consuming Embers, Thunder Strike and Winter's Grasp. The build has gotten a bit more complicated to play because of it. We have to keep a close eye on our buffs and our resources. We always want to have those three buffs up and stay at almost maximum reach, keeping a bit of willpower for our escape move if you jump. But yeah, let's go over the changes in detail with the items, skills, attributes and passive sections. Items. So like I said, we are now using the very powerful affixes from Cell with 9% damage gained per 100 unspent reach on chest and helmet. And percentage damage gained from the last spell cast from our rings and catalyst. Weapon it has to be a dagger so we are able to cast auto turret. I guess you could get another one-handed weapon with Cell affix able to cast auto turret, but getting the perfect rolls is already hard enough. We are looking for free flat damage rolls, crit damage and free sockets. We gain more percentage damage from our gloves and shoulders through increased material damage. Boots with additional agility which also buffs our damage since every attribute gives you a bonus to damage. Pants with transfer time reduction between reach and willpower and cooldown reduction. The cap on a turret is 1.5 so cooldown reduction is useless after reaching that threshold. And last but not least, champ slots in offensive we take flat damage from our flawed ether right. In defensive slots we take Labi's Lazuli to avoid being frozen. And support Silverstone since in total 40 attributes gives us more damage than 20 in ferocity. Skills. The reason we are not using Silver Rain Shout is because this skill modifier does not affect our buffs from the other spells. It increases average damage by a ton cause this skill gives us attack speed which does not matter for our turrets. They won't shoot faster or deal any more damage because of it so don't use this skill. The skills we are using to buff our turret is Winter's Grasp with Hail the Ice Queen, Thunder Strike with Rebuilding the Trinity, and consuming embers with object of desire. Eva jump with March of the Time Devourers to judge up our rage and quick escapes. And lastly our turret with high caliber ammunition, twin repeater, autonomous sensors and ballistic reinforcements. Fully buffed we're going up to a total damage of 1400 to 2600. Total damage and crit multiplier are the most important things on this build. Attributes. We are going full ferocity to get more crit chance. Assets. Like I said, crit multiplier is now extremely strong. Merciless lethality is also way better than I thought. We don't even bother picking up the wildcard anymore because we have enough crit chance and crit multiplier is so much stronger. That is the reason why we make a trip over here. We grab another 20 and another 20 crit damage multi. We also grab this for additional reach, which is basically another 40% damage increase. We get even more damage per reach from this node. And we grab all the projectile damage in the ranger tree. And there you go, an even more powerful version of the turret build. I didn't think it was possible to push it even further, but here we are. It's definitely possible to crack the 10k crit with even better rolled gear and then a famous unique gloves with flat damage to attacks, but that's for another video in the future. Hope you enjoyed this guide, tell me what you think, also leave a like, share it with your friends, helps out a ton. Shoutouts to my fellow streamers, Duke Watchem and Kamadi, we always brainstorm over on Twitch. I'm live there right now as this build guide goes live, so come on over and say hi. 
And with that, as always, I'll leave you with more gameplay. Chef out.